of database. Lecture number 10. Form creation, create request, types of request, and a report. There is our plan. Number one, form creation. Number two, enter the information in the form. Number three, view the form in tabular mode. Number four, create queries, types of requests, and five, create a report. The re references of the lesson. Forms. Forms are used to customize your data entry screen. Forms are created for the convenience of the user. Forms are used to update data tables. You can change locations of fields and colors very easily in the design screen. Creating a form. After Kim leaves for her staff meeting, Barbara asks you to create a form for the customer table because the staff are not allowed to access the database directly. The staff members should be allowed only for entering the data. But using a form, the staff can work data easily in the table. Download Restaurant 3 database again. Open customer table to identify of records. And create using form wizard, layout, commoner, and style international. And the same save the form as test form. Adding a record into the form. Add following information as a record, customer, customer number, and the customer name, your last name, street, city, state, and the zip code, your address, owner name, your full name, phone, your phone number, first contract, and the and records, and all 39 added to the customer table. It has been altered. Modifying a form. Modify the test form based on below requirements using the design view of form. Make sure that city, state, and zip code are on the same line. Title of field, label box, actual entry space, text box. In order to move both boxes together, place the cursor between label and the text boxes. Then the shape of cursor will be changed to a black colored hand. Modifying a form. Count. Put a space between words for following customer name, owner name, and a first contact. Change customer number to customer NO. Change form to phone number. Add a label in the form header section in order to create a title of this form. The title, use label button from the toolbox for the form should be customer data entry form. The font size is of the title should be a minimum of 20 and the la title must be centered. Reports. Reports are used to dress up or summarize your data. Reports can be made from a table or query. You can use a wizard to create your reports or ca you can customize them to fit your needs. You can specify sorting orders and you can also group data. Creating a report. Kim returns from her staff meeting with another record. She wants to have a list of order number, customer number, paid and the invoice amount. From the order table, she likes the information presented in a more readable format for senior managers. Create using report wizard, layout, tabular, and others. Group by customer name and the source the advice amount is descending order and the save the report as order list. Modifying a report. 
and third CSUB logo upper right corner the, of the wrapper. The title is order list wrapper title recurrence. The title must be centered, change background and font color, and the change font size to 24. Put a space between words for following. Order name, customer name, and the invoice amount. Modifying a report. Count. Change order name to order and all. Change customer name to customer and all. And the change invoice amount to invoice, invoice amount. We done out the heading names and field enters so that nothing is cut off. Space out your data fields as well. Also adjust vertical alignment of each field. All words in the report must be clearly and visible. Preview your report before printing it. Use the print preview option to see if the report is as you want it to be. If not, make your changes and use print preview again. Create a form with the main form and the sub form. Try Microsoft Forms to tutorial. You can create a form with a sub form on two tables that have an established relationship. When the relationship between the tables is a one to many relationship, the main form will consist of data from the primary table and the subform will consist of data from the related table. By selecting two relates the tables in the form wizard you can produce a form with the subform. The form with subform is a great way to display data for tables that have a one to many relationship. Form wizard form Subform dialog box. Tables or red queries used for the form and subform display here. Main forms fields are shown here and the subform fields are shown here. Form and subform data. Notice in the following figure that the main form contains information about the employee whose ID is. 10,122. 10, the data in the top form are positions that this particular employee has available. Also notice that you have two sets of navigation buttons. You can navigate the data for either form. The other navigation buttons apply to the main form. The inner navigation buttons apply to the subform. An example of a form with subform. The subform, the main form name appears in a title bar. The main form, the subform navigation bar, and the, the main form navigation bar. Relationship of main and the subform. To create a form based on two tables, a relationship between the two tables must be defined first. Access form wizards automatically divide into main or subform format. 1. Customer to many order. Primary table. Customer main form. Related table. Order subform. Creating a main or self form. Barbara wants you to create a form so that she can view the data for each customer and all the orders for the customer at the same time. The form must have following information customer name and the customer name, own name and the order number and the paid invoice amount and the billing date. Use the form wizard, subform layout, date sheet and style international, save as customer, main form and order, subform. 
creating an advanced report. He would like to have a more friendly and easy to read report for senior managers. She needs following fields from both customer and order tables. Customer name, customer name, phone, first contact, order name and the inverse and view by customer table, group by customer name and sort by order name, fields in ascending order and layout template. Modify your report so look nice. Save as customer orders. Creating weight enabled information. Barbara feels that other employees in the company would benefit from gaining access to restaurant database. Leonard asks whether the database can be made available to employees of the company network internet and that way employees could obtain company information using their desktop computers rather than using paper forms. Most employees such as the customer representatives in the marketing department do not need to access to the entire database nor or should they be able to make changes to the database objects. Creating a static web page. Leonard has asked you to create an HTML document for the customer table. He wants this data to be available to customer representatives working outside the office. Leonard wants to create static web pages because the customer representatives need to view them only once a month to complete their monthly status reports. Select the customer table from restaurant database, file name customer and open the table using any internet browser. Creating a statistic web page. Easy to create and maintain, stored outside the database, simple to publish, only reflect to the state of the customer table at the time it was created. Does not allow continuous update because it's not linked to the customer table on which it is based. Creating a dynamic web page, data access page. Barbara asks if it's possible to create a dynamic web page using the customer table and then her staff members can update the, using their browsers. Use the page objects, save as customer. A data access page is a dynamic HTML document. Creating a dynamic web page. Data access page. When you open a data access page, you are viewing current data from the data access page. Then you can use the data access page to view or update the data in the database using a web browser, at least MS Explorer version 5. A data access page can be stored outside the database as separate HTML documents. If a single table or quality is the basis of the data access page, then you can use the data access page to update the data in the database. However, if two or more related tables are the basis for the data access page, then you can only view the data, no update. Importing an HTML document as an access table. Download and then open new REST HTML document. Close new REST HTML document. Import new REST HTML document into restaurant database. 
let the access to the primary key save as potential customers. Importing and exporting an XML document. Download loans XML document, universal way to transmit data because of the internet. Import loans XML document into restaurant database, save as loans XML, the export customer table as an XML document. There are some questions. Number one, how can you create a form? Number two, how do I enter data into the form? Number three, how are requests created? Number four, types of requests. And uh, number five, how to create reports. Thank you for attention. Nazarlanus Radachmiet.